Allah says, we will test you with loss of life. What is the meaning of loss of life? Subhanallah. Your parents, your children, your siblings, your friends, and those who you know, those who are close to you, we will take them away. Either we will take you before them or them before you, or we take all of you together. That's a test. You came in this world, what's the next step? Before I came here, I was somewhere. Then I came here, and after this, I need to go somewhere. Isn't it? This is a short period of time. Everyone's time is different. Allah says, we will test you by taking life away. So the life will go. It has to go. You have no option. Your father has to die. You have to die. Your child has to die. Someone has to die. We only don't know the timing and we don't know how. So what do you do? Yes, you will cry. The Prophet ﷺ lost his son, Ibrahim. And he was carrying him and he was crying. And the Sahaba radiallahu anhum looking at the tears of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And you know what? He made a beautiful statement. He says, when they asked about the tears, he says, Innama hiya rahmatun ja'alaha Allahu fi ibadihi ruhama. He says, I'm not questioning the decree of Allah. These tears are the tears of rahmah. They are tears of mercy. Allah has put in the hearts of those who have mercy. It's normal to cry. It's normal to be saddened at a loss. But it's not the sign of a mu'min to become depressed at a loss. That's the difference. Don't become depressed. Don't play the blame game. Blame game meaning, if I did this, maybe my child would have this, or my brother would have this. If I did this, that all those ifs, taftahu bab shaytan According to the hadith, law, when you say law this, law that, maybe this, if that, if this, it opens the door of the devil. That's what the hadith says. The devil will tamper with your mind, destroy your relations, everything gone. Don't do that. Thank Allah. Alhamdulillah. Oh Allah, help me. Allahumma ajirni fi musibati. Oh Allah, you are asking Allah's help to grant you out of that musibah and difficulty that you have, help you through it, save you from the calamity, and at the same time, give me something better in return, oh Allah. That's what you are saying. So it's an amazing gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, life will be full of hardship. Like I say, you will lose your children or your spouse. If you are married and you really love your wife or your husband, you have to tell yourself one day they're going to go or I'm going to go or we're going to go together. You have to. There's no two ways. Don't let that depress you because that's life. That is life. You look at your children. It is normal to think that, you know what? Let me use this. Let me thank Allah for this goodness as it is here. I may not have my children soon. It's, it's normal to think that. But it's not normal to become depressed at that because that is part of the test of Allah. When you go to school, it's normal to be tested. You don't see the, the, the question and you just sit back with your pen down and you are depressed and you are crying. <laughs> Hard question. The question is so difficult. And you are crying. While you are sitting in the exam room, try, attempt it, do something, say something, use whatever you've learned, check, write some form of an answer, anything, you know, whatever you want to write, try and inshallah, perhaps you might have struck it. But if you didn't try, you put your pen down and you started crying, you definitely failed. There was no question about it. There was no question about it. So this is why we say, my brothers and sisters, look at the Quran. See that Allah says he will test you from the point of birth. You are tested and you will be tested all the way to the point of death. Even the sickness right at the end when people are terminally ill, a powerful piece of advice. You die with hope in Allah. Allah says, I will treat each of my worshippers according to the way they perceive me. So if you think inshallah is ghafoorur rahim, I have committed sins, Allah will forgive me. I made tawbah, I tried my best. Ya Allah, raufur rahim, ghafoorur rahim, rahmanun rahim, forgive me, have mercy on me. I have no option but to return to you. You are the one. When I was younger, I had energies, I committed so many sins, Ya Allah. You know right now, I have nothing besides you. I'm going to return to you, Ya Allah. I know that you will forgive me because I'm asking you for this forgiveness. And you die with a smile. Subhanallah. Don't become depressed. People are terminally ill, they become depressed. Even if you hold the chair very hard, you will still die. It doesn't help you. No matter what, you will still die. So when a person is terminally ill and they are old, remind them of their good deeds. It's a sunnah. 
Remind them of their good deeds. Remind them of the mercy of Allah. Have good words on your tongue. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all ease through the difficulties that we will face. We have faced. We are facing. Every one of us here. I'm sure we are facing difficulty. We are facing hardship of some nature. Some are more than others. Some people have bigger problems than others. Some people have smaller problems than others, but because they don't know how to deal with it, they think that it's the biggest problem on earth, not realizing that so many other people have been through those problems. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May Allah open your doors. May Allah open the doors of every one of us of mercy. May Allah grant you sustenance and good health. And more than anything, may Allah make us closer to him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us as close as possible to him. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, when you go through difficulty, it's a gift of Allah. You become closer to Allah. You come to salah. You come to tahajjud. You come to dua. Your heart is softened. You become a better person. You start dressing with hijab. You start doing things for the sake of Allah. You realize that life is not all about partying and it's not all about wasting of money. My brothers and sisters, learn to save a little bit. Learn to reach out to other people. When you help other people, Allah will help you. So inshallah, in this way, we will be able to get closer and closer to 